We love the immersive value of these streams. They take time to wander as we hunt for one brown trout under cover in a tight lie. Upstream movement is controlled, calculated, and methodical. We slowly pace our way upstream, covering exactly one mile in eight hours. During the next hour of video, we share what we're looking for, where and why. We film to immerse you along with us on a favorite brown trout stream to share the pace and cadence of how our days typically unfold. Hey guys, we're out here and we're just standing at the mouth of where our little creek meets the river. And it's a real mixed bag of weather today. So I'm, you know, I'm sure we're gonna layer up, put the oh, buffer yeah. on, put the buff and the puffer and the rain gear and the wind gear, and then take it all off again like we have now because of the hot walk in. Yeah, exactly. I, my extra layer came off for that walk in because I didn't need it then, but I'm sure later today because that southerly is going to roll in. Yeah, they're forecasting yeah. snow across the tops. There was snow last night, but then the warm front has it about 15 right now. It's uh, forecast to drop to four degrees by four o'clock this afternoon with a couple inches of snow on the passes again. So yeah, so we're gonna, you know, make use of what we have now because obviously pressure changes can change what, hap what happens on the water so we're gonna work our way upstream and hopefully maybe even run into a mayfly or two we have seen a few out here um the last while so that's yeah. kind of the hope in the mind and and, and you've been a little more lucky than i have so yeah. far on this trip with mayflies and rising fish so i'm hoping to find one yes. um yeah so i i suspect it'll be a case of 14 foot uh, liters to three or four x because i don't suspect too many people have fished in here and then either a small elk air caddis or a mayfly emerge or are done with a little dropper maybe eight or ten inches down would be kind of what I think hey exactly and we'll be using our h3 rods we love those just for the flex and the feel in this kind of water so well let's giddy up and go before the weather changes and moves in wicked okay so we found a fish from where Amelia is up on the bank and she's just up filming, hoping to show it feeding and swaying and moving and all that good stuff. Um, I really hope as I go target that one, I don't spook anybody else from here up to that fish. But it's another classic kind of shingly gravel shelf. And it's just sitting just on the top side of, of that kind of stick jam up there. Of course, I'll have to cast over top of that sway stick. Yeah, getting that getting the cast in there and then getting the hook up uh, is about one quarter of the battle because if I'm lucky enough to hook up that's gonna be a hell of a fight to get that fish out of there and again mayfly merger what's that 12 inches down to a little coppery tail kind of dark hairs ear kind of thing and where's my back cast I got a chop cast right through here looks like maybe and the fish is just in the tongue up there just off that little stick yeah, I still have that chop. The chop would have to stop there and fire it up. Okay. smudge rama right there. There is that. From my rod tip, only about a rod and a half cast. Yep. Oh, he's under there, but good. And there he is there. Will he come back? Ah, try to pull him out from this crap is gonna be Gonzoville pretty quick, I think. Keep it under. Keep it under. Will he keep coming back? Oh, I doubt that. Where are you, fish? I feel him until I don't. Yeah, it's a kiss of death. You know? Yeah. No broke it off he got bugger soaking wet now that's a tough one to win gotta get right on top of that and I did not but it was a big fish it was a big fish um, yeah the only chance is to get him over here and keep him there but 
how do you tell a pit bull not to, you know, not to bite the mailman's leg, you know? It's like, he going there, and, huh. <laughs> Soaking. But that's the fun stuff. I'd say you win about maybe 40% of those. You always get the take on those fish, but get them to land, well, maybe 50%. So, I'm 0 for 1 on that. Retie. Okay, so, but actually, the last thing I wanted was broken skies. I didn't want the sun to come out. I was hoping it would stay cloudy, but here we are. And this is why, if you look up, it's just shadow, sunspot, shadow, sunspot, all the way up. And it's always gonna be in the wrong spots. If you want to look into a bucket, I guarantee you it's gonna be shade. So we're just gonna go ahead and try to pick our way. In a creek like this, they could literally be sitting right there. So you gotta be cognizant of well, obviously you're reading water to start with. You're playing your percentages and you're also making sure that you're not missing looking into any little depth change, current seam, that kind of stuff. But it's absolute classic trout reading stuff. And as you get into here, eesh. yeah, this is good, but it's all shingly. And usually on these creeks, if there's a deeper pocket, it's caused by willows. And on a sunny day, those willows are so gracious as to completely shade everything so you can't see. And if you're early in the season like we are, there's no terrestrial bugs, no moths, very little for bugs, and there's no rising fish. So you have to go yeah. really slowly just to even have a hope of seeing anything. And yeah, we're gonna need some kind of, some kind of help today in here. Oh well, we're just gonna look for that one. One hopeful by one. I'm gonna say there has to be a fish. There absolutely has to be one up ahead. There's no way there's not a fish up here. Will he be cruising or will he be stationed? That's the question. <laughs> Gorgeous trough along this bank. Jeepers. Guess I should get ready. You know? There's one there. Tail out flat. No, right there on the on the flat. Just coming across the sand. Again, not big, but I also, while I know it's there, I've got to make sure that there's not another one up. Oh, look at that big one coming down. That's the second one. Okay, so they're going to end up back here. Okay, where's that big one? Where are you? Okay, the big one took off. This guy, come on. There he is. I wanted to take this one before the big one dropped. And I'm just cranking on the bejeebers of this thing because the big one's still up ahead of me. There we go. Boy, that was right in front of me, wasn't it? <laughs> just dropped right out. This one saw that big one dropping out and said, I got to get out of his territory. Yep. And that's how that went. Okay. There we go, love. Okay, and rolling on that. Gorgeous. Ready? You bet, anytime. All right, here she goes. Okay. Wicked. A couple things here. Usually you're okay to walk on the really, really shallow stuff. Usually the frowns will just cruise the contours of the shallows. So that's your first ace. The second thing is, I only saw the one fish go above this trough on the right. So I suspect the second fish is somewhere in that trough over there. Um, the, the bigger one kept cruising up. Now I gotta keep my rod low and out of the sun, but I'm pretty sure there's gonna be one off the right pretty quick. And I don't know if it's going to be feeding. That's going to be the problem because it might have spooked with all the commotion or by being put off by the bigger. 
So those are just things that you think about as you come, which is why I'm way far left, um, even though chances are pretty good there's still a fish in this trough to the right. And I'm gonna soon be lit up like a light bulb in this next sunspot here. So it's real slow, game of patience. You know they're somewhere there. And you also know that there's a cycle cruise going on. All of which spells take your time. And I'm just getting to the place of the tail out. Oof, that's not easy, especially with that wind. Well, that's just it. I'm probably gonna go a bit deeper because I'm only 14 inches tops. Okay guys, so I've just tied on another about 11 inches of Tippet 4X down to a second nymph and it's a caddis pupa. It's actually the same size as the other nymph. Uh, I've got two size 16s. And uh, I'm just gonna see if I can get his attention with that. Dave said he's been in some incredible positions, of course, while I've been tying on my flies. <laughs> and that's, that's how that goes. Yeah, he's okay. far off the left. And I'm trying to pick him up so I can try to lead him. A little deeper. Yeah. Oh yeah, I got gotcha. you. That's not the, the cycle in that I'm looking for. Yeah, so he's still happy. Oh, yeah. There you go. Don't see him yet. Really want him off the right. Okay, there we go. Bottom, I saw that nymph. Yeah, there was no way he was coming up. No. I'm looking. Look, oh, oh shit. Do I want a freaking big, large? Yeah, where is he? Looking for him. Oh, okay. Here we go. And got him. Yes. Oh, that was cool. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. That's really cool. That was timing. And that fish was going to eat. Yeah. That fish is going to eat. Now my net, net is really on shore here. I'll get it. Yeah. No, 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 fish. No, he's... No, let's keep you back. Rod in, rod in, rod in, rod in. Thank you. I should be able to... No, not yet. Bring him back. No, 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 fish. Come on, Mills. Get on it. Get on it. Get on it. Up, up, up. Up. In. Yes, that's nice, boy. That was a fish that was feeding and was gonna eat. All right, sweet. That's a nice male, hey? Gorgeous fish. <laughs> hey, down up, go. Okay, here we are. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Sheepers, he went, eh? Yep. <laughs> Hey guys, <laughs> so that was that was awesome. Um, thankfully, you know, Dave was able to actually hook one up here and pull it down below. So I was able to have a chance at this fish. Um, that was really cool. He was able to spot it and it was really in a feeding position. So as it came down, it came down over the shallower water. I was able to just pop my, my dry, my sedge pattern 
down to that large pheasant tail right above him and there was no question that he was coming to feed you know you can really tell when a fish is in a true feeding position he's also close enough to me and uh, up in the water column that fish wasn't just staying down deep so that was cool So, so we got two fish going again up here, hey? Wow. Yeah, he's coming this back down. This guy's going to come back down. And yeah. He, she'll come back out and station there. Yeah. Come on, don't do this. No, she's dropping. No, she's dropping. But the top one is stationed happily. Yeah. Will this girl come all the way down? Yep. Now she's right below us and yeah. a button hook to the bank. So we have to now wait for her to get back happy on the mayflies and we're back to where we were. So he's happily stationed up there. That's the... Yeah. For now. For, for how long? Come on now. <laughs> wait for the next one. <laughs> okay, this one's right here. Yeah. She's right there. Okay. That's the one that's going to move upstream. Okay, yeah. I see your tail. Mm -hmm. Pretty incredible, guys. This fish has dropped. So he's literally just right below me here. Um, I'm probably a good... 10 feet anyway above the river and I can peer over and I can just see his tail right right through here so it's not not the easiest place to of course be doing any kind of cast I really need that fish to swim upstream so I have a chance at it I've now put on a tiny little uh, size 16 very lightly weighted um, mayfly no tungsten bead but uh, it's going to drop just slightly below my dry. It's only about an 8-inch dropper. And hope that, that, you know, she or he wants to come and eat it. I wouldn't sit up too much. It's right below you. So I'm thinking here, guys, of possibly having a go this fish is right below me but is quite happy doesn't want to move upstream so sometimes you just gotta have a go and you know kind of let the chips fall where they may you know i may easily spook this fish once they get any kind of fly on the water but gotta try and we got cloud which is better than having bright bright sun and waving a big stick above its head so, but it, this won't be a lot of waving. It's kind of going to be one shot into the river. Keep your nymph off of blackberry 
and try, just freaking try. Yep. Yes, nice. Oh my gosh. Hop on and in, love. What do I do now? Get, hop in. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, that's nice to say, Dave. <laughs> nice to say, nice to say, nice to say. There's no just sliding down this bank. I'm telling you that right now. It ain't just that. Going head first is what it is. I have to come down to where you are, but I got to get control stop, first. Stop. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's going to be awesome on the way there, all right. Okay. Am I making it back up is the question. Okay, Dave. That net. Thank you. Okay. Thing is, he ain't gonna want to get raised. And up. Will he let me raise him up? Will he let me? Will he let me? No, not quite. Swing up. Swing up. Swing up. Yes, yes, yes. No, no, man. No, come on. Come on, and in my neck. Yeah! Yes, man. Oh, Dave. Okay, that was worth it. <laughs> Wow, guys. Wow, wow. Okay, I got to get my leg unhooked here. Wow. Shit, that's deep down there, eh? Oh, it's really deep. Yeah. Like right. this, this is probably here, guys, right in front of me. Easily, I'd say seven, six or seven feet six deep. Feet. Six, anyhow. Oh, crazy. And let her go? Yep. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, man. Whew. Well, that was a serious blackberry scramble, guys. And take a look at the height of where I was casting from, way up here to a fish down there. Yeah, kind of kind of got some luck involved because I had to get down through all this nasty blackberry off my left to get into position to land it too. Ah, fun fish though. Enjoyed it. Okay, so this is a bit more realistic here. And this is cruising water. This is cycling water. Sure. Yeah, I mean, it's going to go up. Definitely will be. I'll let you lead, but I'll be ready with a short bow and arrowy kind of thing. Cool. Like that. Check your check your upper cast, as in above you. That way, you know if you can cast or not. It's probably going to be up on that trough shelf by the willow. Okay, I'm just looking along your bank as well because yeah. that's really deep and gorgeous cruising water. And I'm just looking right in this trough here. It's an undercut. And when that sun comes out, holy, is that glowy. Yeah. So now it goes from looking for fish to looking for smudges and, and dark. Anything dark and moving, I'm just keeping my eye out, out on ahead of us here. And now I'm just going to shorten this up so I can just flip it as need be. Because that's how that's going to go usually. Once again, it's going to be on the top side, isn't it? So with that, if I know that, then i got to get shorter and get the bow and arrow ready. That's proper prior planning thing. And just really looking on that shelf. It would be right there if he was going to be here. How well do you see? Um, I can see a fair bit from this bank to the middle. Then I get a glare oh, yeah. spot and then I get a bit of vision off left as well. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We both know this fish is probably just going to appear. I guess the one nice thing about sun when it does come out in creeks that have all this kind of overhanging willow is that you can also look ahead of you for those the shadows of the fish to cross those sunspots. Um, yeah, it doesn't help you once they reach into the shaded bits, but that's where that's helpful, especially from a distance. What's neat, I remember when the farmer 
had his backhoe digger digging this thing out, yeah. which really sucked. But this was the log jam. You remember your big 11 oh, pound yeah, fish? I do. <laughs> wow. And boy, does it ever look different now. Yeah. It had a lot more depth at that time. It was. Because it was an actual log jam. Yeah, exactly. Right. <laughs> yeah. And these troughs here had fish. I just remember the fish just feeding on willow grubs right there. I just remember spending hours on that big fish. Cycling and cycling and cycling. <laughs> yeah. I think you got it on a like size 18 pheasant tail too. Yeah, crazy. Man, that's tight. Tight viewing spots, man. The glare is unbelievable. Yeah. Makes the walking so slow. But at least you can see a darkness, consistency of darkness, that if you had anything sitting in there, you should see dark swaying or a shape. Really need to get way over on the right. Use whatever cover I can and swing as far away from it as possible. See if I can get any kind of angle in that trough. Troughs, eh? You can never really trust a fish to stay still mm -hmm. in a long, sweeping trough like that. Boy, it's going to be hard to know which side to look here more. There's only so many spots in a creek, eh? As long as he's not sitting on a rock in a tail where I can't see. But there again, in this water, if he takes off, he would send quite the wake upstream as he goes. So, oh, yeah. trouble is, there's no hard structure anywhere here to hold to. Not a single bigger rock. You just gotta trust your eyes because you're not gonna miss a fish the size that they are here. They're, they won't be spooked, they're gonna be out, so you should be out just swaying back and forth here, right? Yeah, you just can't trust these fish not just to dance around. Huh. Wow. Sorry, though. Amazing water, though gonna be kind of gray blue if he's there if it's there whatever no movement whatsoever no fins once again it won't be easy to see in in the next pocket either once you get into that shade at least it's not sunny, so you have a chance of seeing in there. But, you know. Oops. That was a good bank to walk. Very visual. Oof. A, good fish, and B, really shallow. Yeah, just up way over there, you can see as he's waking the water. Oosh, jeepers. I gotta chop that tippet down way, way back. Looks like a big fish, too. Yeah, it's fascinating to watch those leaves. Um, the two leaves that just went through got sucked under and then sucked way to the right. Wow. That's my point, yeah. Out there, not too bad, but inside of that, I don't know, way to the right. I have no idea what I'm gonna see. Crazy. You got him right now? got him right now. He dropped a bit, oh, no, further up? Yeah, he's just further up, Dave. Okay, I see that. Yeah. Yeah, I just see that. Yeah. Oof. I don't trust any of these fish today. Oh, big swing. What did he do? 
No. Oh. Boy, he's feeding hard. It's just trying to get into position. I'm also just trying to tiptoe in there. If I go any more to my right to stand, I won't see, but that's where I want to be to cast. Okay. There we go. Like I said, I'd best the smudge. Cheaper fish. Keep it to the right, Dave. Crazy going away from me, party. Come on, come on, fish. Come on. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back, nice and low and slow. Back him out of there, Dave. Head, head was up there for a second. I could have done something there. Just has a feel like he's gonna jump again. Just has that feel like he's gonna do a, a run and a jump or try to bury me under something. He just has that feel. I'd like to bring him over, but I don't want him in that willow over there either. Come on, low away from that willow. Come on, away from that, buddy. Come on. Can I alligator roll time? No, not yet. Six more inches in. Come on, head up. Yes. Yes. Wicked. <laughs> I like that. Nice. I was nervous on that bugger of a fish too. Yeah. <laughs> so my biggest thing there was to cast that way where I could see and not this way into the glare. Okay, here we, here we go, love. Yeah, go for it. Wicked. Awesome. Gorgeous fish. <laughs> that was cool. It that really was cool. cool. You know, the truth is that when I was here, like standing right kind of just where Amelia is here, um, I, I could just see the smudge with my sunglasses on. And these Smith Low Light igniters that are, I guess, on my head, um, I could see there. But the second you come out here, it's a brutal glare. And it was like, either, I either go way over here so I could see there, but then I'm gonna have to cast shallow to that fish, right? You don't wanna go shallow because a fish that comes shallow is just gonna flash, flashy, and as likely miss your nymph as actually connect with your nymph. So that's why, you know, when, you, when I was fishing, I could see it kind of right up that, just on the inside of the seam line there, and I said, no, I'm going to go this way. Little reach out, drift down. And I just saw that fish come over. It was a good three feet over. And down goes a dry fly. So that was, that was really cool, hey? Really nice. I loved it for you. I just saw, saw your cast layout and I thought, ah, perfect. He's going to pull him into slightly faster water. Because there's no chance a fish has got more time to think about your fly in, in that kind of water, water too, yeah, right? Could... Whereas you pull him to that inside edge and... You know, if he's worked at all, he has more time to look at yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. that cool. was pretty sweet. Really cool. I love these spots. These are just the best spots. Well, we, Dave just walked ahead of me and found a fish. He says is in shallow water. So I'm just sneaking up behind him so I can see it. I'm already with a shallow dropper nymph, like eight inches. Nah. Yeah, nah. he's swimming okay. way down to the bench like that. Oh, okay. Like that's inches of water. Wow, I'll say that's hey. Gorgeous fish location. Nice, I'll <laughs> say hey. Well, guys, the fish is kind of holding in what I would call a sort of a very subtle little drop off zone or a depression in the gravel. It's kind of middle of the river and he is swinging left and right of that spot. So I'm going to very slowly get into position to cast. I think I can go much higher than this. Okay. All right. 
I'm gonna go for it, Dave. Got it. Whoa, 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 whoa. End of the day, end of the day, end of the day. He's under. I've got to keep that way out like this. Keep pressure. Is well, he going? Not, there's a stick oh, on I the bottom. I see it. I see it, but. Maybe flip it this way? No. Can't do that. Well, try. Oh, he's pulling me under that. Yeah. Massively. Easy. Oh. Look at those okay. sticks in there. All I can do right now is keep pressure and try to get, bring him down. There is a chance of that. I still have he's him. Coming. Yeah, yeah, he's gonna come down. We hope. He's, I'm hopeful. Come on, fish. Oh, that drive no. stuck on something. I still feel him. He just wants to pull right now. That's all that's going on. Oh, coming. oh yeah, he's gonna come. He's gonna come. Yeah, he's starting to come. Come on out. He's starting to come. Wow. Have a chance. Back wow. him out. Yeah, have a chance. Bring him down. Yep. Come on, down you come. Yeah. Down you come. It's amazing that he's going down. That's the problem is I don't want that to come down. Now you're in trouble. Yeah, yeah. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. No, 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 no. Come on. Come on. Can you walk the dog back out? I'm hopeful. There is a chance here. Yeah. Have to bring him out, though. Have to bring him out here. Nope. Nope. Come on, fish. No, nope. just keep steady pressure, Mills. That's all you can do. Steady pressure. Wow. Steady pressure. Steady pressure. Back, back, back. Steady pressure. No. Nope. No, 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 no. Go with, go at him, go at him. Yeah. Go, 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 go. I am. No, I gotta keep that steady pressure. <laughs> We're gonna play this game for a bit. So there is to that. <laughs> Yeah. That one stick you're on. Yeah. Go, go backwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got him. Okay, okay. Oh. And here. Go, 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 go. No, no, no. It's, these are going to screw me right here. Ah. Hang tight, hang tight. No, I got it. I got it. Got it. Yes. Wow. Really? Okay. Come on. Go down. Go down. What's your next obstacle? <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, fish. No fish, no fish. No. No, 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 no. Ah. Keep going, girl. Going for that now. Keep going. Jeepers. Plan on the come eddy. On, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Plan the eddy. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on, fish. Not under, not under. Oh, not under. No fish. No. You got it. Hey, come on. You'll come. Okay, I don't want you there, I don't think. Okay. He's gonna see you. But, no, 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 no. Okay. No, 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 no. Keep it up, okay, here we go. Keep it out, yeah. Okay. I feel his fin. Yeah. I have his tail. I have the fish. Yep. And there we go. Woo! Oh, wow. Wowers. Okay. Got him. Well, that was one hell of a fight, guys. <laughs> I mean, I have to pull that fish off of what? I think it was four banks in the end. And this last bank, I mean, it wedged itself and in, into weeds underneath the undercut, you know, throw the rod down, work my way down slowly to be able to grab that tippet, you know, below, below my dry fly. I could feel my dry fly. And of course on the second one, I could eventually feel my way all the way down the tippet and grab his tail and bring it out. Wow, man. I don't know. Yeah, got lucky for sure. That fish definitely could have been off. A number of times but that's what's fun about these really tight tight creeks and willows is there's a lot of obstacles when it comes to fighting the fish and you got to get on it um yeah so crazy 
crazy fight and really enjoyed it. I truly can't believe that Amelia got that fish out of there. Like just this alone. That fish was up underneath that bank, under that undercut, around this stick, and her leader was on the top side from here. That leader was up there, so that fish had to be there. And she paused it enough to pull it back down through there and around and down to that next tree. So how? Well, you gotta go, you gotta come out the way you went in. That's the only chance and get lucky along the way. So because Amelia just, <laughs> I was using my rod for that. She went all the way through those damn sticks up there, all the way through those sticks under there, that stick. I don't know how the heck she got that fish out from underneath that twice or three times and underneath this and all the way down there. Um, but I'm gonna take a page out of the, my, my, my Dave Jensen Dum Dum book and I'm gonna not write a new chapter um, because she just caught that, it's my turn. She used my rod, guess what I'm gonna do? Time to check the leader and tip it and everything else up there because I know. She's... I can guarantee you it's frayed. <laughs> yeah, she guarantees <laughs> my leader is frayed. So I've got a little bit of Bob the Builder construction to do here. So let's do that before we get going to the next one and not write another chapter in Dave's Dumb Dumb Extravaganza. Aren't these trees just amazing in here though? Oh, they are really cool, okay? The amount of stuff that grows all the way up them. Yeah. Vines. Vines and everything. Vines. It's getting cooler, hey? Oh, it is. You can start to feel it just yeah. drop a little it's, bit, hey? They said 3 o'clock showers, it's yeah. 10 to 3, and it's definitely supposed to drop Starting temperature, so. Yeah. yeah. Well, are we going to have a bridge fish? we are going to find out. It's certainly a very good looking pocket. And I would like to get a bit of height from back here. So I'm not exposing myself completely, but I can start to see in the back end of that. Gotta make sure that he's not tight to this bank. I can't see right off of this bank, can you? Yeah. Okay. Thing is, he could easily be up again on the pillow where the backup of all this debris is yeah. on the abutment of the bridge there. You gotta be ready for the dropout too. Though. Yeah, there is that too. If, 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 if. I'm, if. I'm not yet at all. I would have to be way far over there if it was there. Yep. Yeah. I don't think he's here today. Not today. Yeah, he's definitely underneath that. Thing. So see the collection of just, willows yeah, coming just in below through. that, right about there. Is where, where you saw him. Yeah. Wow. So in amongst okay. that undercut complex. Yeah, okay. He'll show again. It's amazing how long this one could take, eh? Yeah, I know. Where are you going to show next, Mr. Trout? Oh, Caddis. Okay. Tail just came out from there. Wow. So if I if I was you, I'd cast along that. I don't, you haven't seen it yet. That's no. the problem. There he is. I see his tail now. Back here. Oh, see that just, yellow leaf? To the yeah, left of that yellow leaf. Yeah, to the left of the yellow leaf. Okay. Wow. Still haven't seen it flag. I'm kind of going on your word on it. Just wait, man. That's Keep tough. Keep waiting if you're not comfortable. Yeah. Definitely, you definitely tell that, right? Yeah. Yeah, totally not comfortable with where in this circumstance. There, I got him. Back end, see that lone blade of grass right there? That lone blade of blade grass, grass and the tail out of the yeah, pond. Yeah. Do you see that? That's hanging over? Yeah, that yep. lone green. I, I see that. Okay, that's where the fish is, just wow. above that. See those two yellow leaves Yeah. coming down? The far left? Yeah. Right in there. The fish oh, is there. I just don't see that, Dave. Wow. I don't see that. He's moved back up now. Whoa, good eye. Really good eye, because oh, I don't. You see his tail? It's right there underneath that blade of grass. It's flagging. That one blade of grass uh -huh. that's just touching the water. Okay, yeah. He's just under it and, and just. It. Just upstream of that. Okay. No, now he's out here. See the smudge out there? Two feet off the point? No. See, see that? See? see that? Oh, now I do. Now I do. Okay, now, now I do. And. Left. He went left. 
Okay, now you got him. Okay. And a little higher, right? Yeah. No, he's out, isn't he? No, he's out. Oh yeah, he's out and up. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I see that. And then he just nymphed. Yeah. Okay, I saw that. I like to go at him up there. Go, go ahead then. Yeah. Let's do it. That might have a chance. Here we go. Right over. Yeah. There we go. Nice. Awesome. Okay, down you come. Okay, control. 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 Keep that rod low. He's going under. Keep it low. Keep it low. Super low. Yeah. There you go. Super low. Yeah. Down, down. Okay. Nice. Big male. Yep. No, 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 get him on, get him on. Keep him up, keep him up. Okay, keep him out. Mm. Yeah. And... No, 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 Okay, gotta get below him. You gotta get below him. Sweep. Head up. And in the net. Gorgeous fish. Wow, gorgeous fish. <laughs> Happy about that. Yeah, yeah man. Stunner. stunner, 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 guys. Yeah, that's beautiful. One. Stay down, up, and go. Nice. Gorgeous. Okay, and yep. I'm going to let him go. Oh, thank you, fish. That's gorgeous. <laughs> nice. Yeah. That was, really nice. that was awesome, guys. So that was truly a situation. Hey, I finally got to see that fish. He had come out from the bank. He wasn't nice. He wasn't tight to the bank. And he was just surfing again in a very subtle little sort of depression spot on that gravel. And, you know, first cast didn't quite do it. Um, second cast, I thought, no, he moved up like I think maybe four or five feet. Thought, okay, just get off his right, get another cast a little further. And that's what did it. And he just came over and took that nymph. Uh, really like that fish. Uh, I, I want to say it looks awfully similar to a fish that I've caught here a few years back now. Whether or not it is, I don't know, but the colors on it, the yellows are just spectacular. I do like this little ditch. Yeah. All you need is a little deflection like that. An overhang hay. Oh, it's yeah. just it's anything. True. They could so subtle looking from back here but if you follow actually the majority of the current the actual amount of current that's yeah. actually coming into that bank you know it, it's there and then when I was out here guys I could see the subtle drop off that that fish was holding on again yeah. it's really subtle but he was up onto the sand but picking him up yeah here, that was all you Dave you you could pick him up I could not I was just seeing the smudge and when I first saw him <laughs> I just saw a tail kind of well let's go up here then you know when I first saw him I saw a tail kind of about here and that whole time I could see his body kind of here and that's not much of a spot for that fish like that to hold in but yeah, and then he moved up here. And this whole thing where you're targeting that fish was still a depression and a trough, hey? Eh? So, no, that's really cool. Okay, good. I think you're gonna get me this day, love. I don't know how I can come back with only so much more space. Just wanna look here. Make sure it's not a fish. No, it's not. How many more fish could there possibly be in this creek? Jeez, eh? Oh, oh. Just give me a little bit of space as I walk up this, because that way there's just me to blame if I step on one. The next bucket has more potential to, than this. Yeah. More flow in there, too. Yeah, this looks just kind of pushy. That looks breaky. If he's gonna be there, he's gonna get the head tucked against that wall of clay. Perfect. It just looks like it's, it's more of a, it's a funnel spout than an actual break. You know what I mean? Yeah. Dynamics are kind of like that. And there's no shapes or smudges above. 
I would put one up on the corner undercut more than I would right here. Yeah. These are always the spots. It's like, well, I'm either in the river looking and potentially spooking or I'm walking around not seeing anything. This is such a low probability spot. Unless there's a big rock on the bottom to break current, I can't see it. Look at how much debris from high water is in that, eh? Amazing. Like to think about that. That's a good rod length above me. My thing is the current flows. I feel like they're messing with my mind a bit. I don't want to get stuck in an eddy, if you get what I mean. Yeah. Oh, he's right there. Okay. I kind of like it when he drops a bit, just because of where he's holding. Yeah. yeah, I have him there. Okay, he's swung in there. Okay. I'm gonna go for him pretty quick here, Dave. I think he's off to the right. No, and then he swung home. There he is. Got him. Nice. Come on, Mills. Come on. Up, 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 up. Okay, bring him down. Bring him down. All right. Calm. Calm, calm, calm. Swing him. There we go. Come on. No, nope, not yet. And sweep, sweep. Sweep. Yes. And up, 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 and dig. Beauty. Beauty, beauty, thank you. Beauty. <laughs> Enjoyed that. <laughs> Pretty quiet going there for a minute. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's good. That's oh, really good. Oh, beauty man. fish. See? Yep. It's an intensity on those fights, man. That one was. You keep it, it keep it in and, well, and then you can let it out of, once it's in the net. <laughs> yeah, he's just doing all sorts of weird things. Oh, see? he was. He really was. But glad I hit him up where I did and then it was just He's on that nymph. You ready? Yep. Sweet. Not a huge, huge male, but nice fish. Gorgeous fish. Yeah, man. <laughs> Great. Sweet. Awesome. Give him a drink. Come back up for you. How's that looking? Got him? Down up go. All right. <laughs> right to the opposite bank as you would expect any other fish to go. <laughs> that That's awesome. So awesome. Yep, man. <laughs> I really like how that played out. That was cool, guys. So let me kind of give you perspective here of where I was standing. Right over this big mound of gravel is a little trough in there. And that's where I was standing initially. And that's when I saw that fish decide to just drop out right beside us and thank god you know we were a, we had time to take a knee both dave and i because he's in behind me here trying to film and uh <laughs> and it was great because it, it, there was no way that we were going to spook this fish as long as we just stayed still and he eventually decided yeah he was going right back up to home base which was right in this corner bucket where all the water comes pouring in and there's again another gorgeous uh drop off because so many of the fish we're finding here are just hanging in that drop off zone and picking off whatever nymphs are coming in for them so i was happy got the cast i wanted landed he came and ate and then went from there so cool fish there he is again that's awesome You know, he's not the smallest fish in the river.
he kept on going. Isn't that amazing? No, he's just feeding. He's just gone to the next run. He's just literally going through the tail out inches of the next run up. <laughs> and he just rose again. Wow. Okay, well, I guess I gotta try to do my shuttle run to catch up to this fish now. It's, wow. I wouldn't have guessed that. Yeah, he, yeah, I just saw him swim past that rock and up to the trough, through the riffle. Where now? Look at the mayflies out there. I don't trust this fish. There's a fish on the top there. I saw a fish up in the riffle. I think that was him, to be honest with you. You just want to say, really? I got one there. I got one there. I kind of have to go at him right now. Like that. Unbelievable. We chased that fish through three different runs. Isn't that amazing? That's incredible. To chase that fish through three runs. You can watch them come up through two different tail out riffles and just keep coming. That was amazing. Not a huge fish, guys, but during this mayfly hatch, this fish is just saying, I'm just going to go for a swim. And I didn't think it was that big, but it's not tiny. It's not, yeah, it's not huge, but I bet you that little potlucker is two pounds. Two and a, two, three quarter. Like, that's crazy. That was from way down there. That was like 150 meters following this thing cruising upstream eating mayflies. Always a different experience, isn't it? Okay. And any time there, Daddy. Here you go. Wicked. <laughs> that, was, that was a lot of fun chasing that thing. Oh, that's wow. cool. Hey guys, before we get into this new feature video, there's something important we want to share with you about our channel. And it is that as artists and content creators in a micro niche, YouTube simply doesn't pay the income required to produce the how-to videos that we share with you. Yeah, the reality is we're just not a pop culture channel and our videos simply don't get high views. Most of our videos take one to two days to film on the water and two days to edit. They focus on how to in order to help you improve your fly fishing skills. We know you already know how to fly fish. Our channel is here to help coach you to advance skills through simple steps and excellent knowledge and observation in knowing what to do when. Our channel is here to help you, but we need your support. For a few bucks a month, you can support what we do and receive the extended ad-free versions of our videos. You also get our producer's notes, which provide behind the scenes considerations to help you. If you want to really tap into our trout stream fly fishing experience and knowledge that's applicable anywhere on the planet, our full digital membership has a full series of courses immediately accessible. Please click this link to support us and become a member right now or visit jensenflyfishing.com.